For years, art critics have carved up Dali's career into the good, surrealist years and the embarrassing bad decades when the mustachioed eccentric was accused of megalomania, catering to dictators and selling out through his numerous TV stints. This exhibition aims to prove that his mass media period was actually highly influential and an essential progression of his early genius. Dali's early paintings, often with anti-war subtexts, are still as powerful and unsettling as they were when they were created 80 years ago. And with 120 of his paintings on show, Dali purists are well accommodated. But the exhibition underlines the fact that as the 20th century unfolded, Dali's art embraced the new mediums available. Dali était controversé. Dali was controversial. In a way, there were two Dalis, good and bad. The good Dali was the surrealist in the 1930s and 40s, and the Dali who came after that, who goes to the United States, who works in Hollywood, with the Russian ballets, with the mass media, this Dali was not really viewable. By bringing together Dali's earlier work and his later escapades in one exhibition offers the chance to reappraise the quality of those later years. The critics may never be swayed. This 1934 installation, titled Face of May West, predates Andy Warhol by some 20 years, but the seeds of what became pop art are unmistakable. For the first time, this exhibition considered that this is a, a serious work of Salvador Dalí, you know, and explained very good the relation between Salvador Dalí uh, and Andy Warhol, you know, because they were friends, because they both were very interested, not co to commercialize his art, but to, com to make art of his, of his way to have money. As Dali embraced Hollywood and devised ever more bizarre ways of courting publicity, the critics derided his direction. But those closest to him say he was always an artist. Was Dali one of the world's greatest artists or just a world-class show-off? This exhibition offers perhaps the best opportunity to look and decide for yourself. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Paris.